One of the practices that has truly revolutionized my own personal Bible reading and studying time uh, has been the Hear Journal method. And a lot of people ask me, like, how did you create that? So when I was flying back and forth from Chattanooga to New Orleans to finish my degree, uh, I had an audience on a plane that was uh, totally interested in anything I had to say and they couldn't get away. So I conducted an informal survey over the course of those two and a half years and I asked every person next to me the same two questions. And here's what the que questions were. Number one is, why don't people study the Bible? You have to understand, I have an eclectic group at this time. I have people who are in ministry, people who are not. I have Catholics and Presbyterians. I have New Age practitioners. I have people of different faiths. And so it was a big different sampling of people. And so I asked them, why don't people read the Bible? But the second question is, why don't you read the Bible? And so you can imagine, I got a lot of different answers from different people, but the number one answer they said to me over the course of time was, the Bible simply doesn't apply to me. And that's maybe what you're thinking right now. Like, how does a 2,000-year-old book have any bearing on my 21st century life? And so I decided to create the HEAR method in order to eliminate, in a sense, the excuses for hearing from God. And so the way it works is this. You're going to read less to digest more. I've created a Bible reading plan called the Foundational 260 or the F260. And we have that both in Old and New Testament and just in New Testament. But the way the plan works is you're going to read less to digest more. So you're not reading to check boxes, which we're all good at. Uh, you're going to actually read, here's a novel idea, to hear from God. And so you highlight a scripture. So let's say you're reading John 1. Uh, you would read, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, verse 14, and became flesh and dwelt among us. So you may highlight, highlight that verse. That's the H. The E would be explanation or explain. So what you're going to do is explain the text. Now, don't think you need a seminary degree for this. A simple study Bible will do. And you're just explaining what the text meant back then. So you're asking questions like, uh, what did the Holy Spirit say here? Why is this happening here? Who's the author? Who's the audience that's happening to? And then the crux of the whole method is the A. The A is the word apply. So highlight explain, apply. Apply is asking the text, what does this look like in my life? How would this apply to my present day situation? So let's take John 1. In the explanation part, and remember this is not rocket science, the explanation part may say something like this. Jesus was the Word, or is the Word. He was in the beginning with God. The Word was in the beginning. Therefore, Jesus is God. Pretty simple, right? The A, the application point, would take the E and apply it. And so you may say something like this. Since Jesus is the Word of God, and the Word of God is God, or the Word is God, watch this. Every time I read the Word, I spend time with Jesus. The R takes what you've just read and puts it into practice today. So it's the response to the text. And I find a lot of journaling methods will stop at A. But the R is either a prayer or an action. So how can I take what I just read and put it into my life today? So you may say, God, give me a burden for the Word of God. Or more importantly, you may say, God, I'm going to commit to read the Bible every day to get into the Word until the Word gets into me. Now here's the thing I want you to think about. Imagine if you tried this for a week. Not a year, but just a week. Do you think it would have impact on your life? Imagine trying this for a year. I just want to tell you from experience, this has been the difference that's made all the difference in my life. No better way to start than now. Let me encourage you to do that.